Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. A couple days ago, I did a video demonstrating how to use Lightroom Classic's new point color tool to remove a color cast from a person. After that video posted, we of course got a comment from a man with the smallest penis in the room saying that, you know, if you would have captured that correctly in camera, you wouldn't have this problem. Well, of course we all know that, but there are times where you won't be able to capture it correctly in camera. For example, I have this image of the chipmunk. The chipmunk was surrounded by lush green foliage, and it was a really bright summer day, and the sun was beaming down, hitting all that green foliage, and even though the chipmunk is in some dappled shade, uh, the light was reflecting off that green foliage, and it gave this chipmunk a green color cast. Now, of course, I could have sat there with my camera and got a custom white balance adjustment to minimize the green color cast, but I don't think the chipmunk would wait around for me to do that. So I had to capture the image as is, and I'll have to deal with this green color cast in post-production. Now, in today's video, I'm going to show you how, again, to use the point color tool to remove the green color cast, and I'm going to show you another method as well. Before I do that, I do want to mention very quickly that I finally updated my Lightroom Classic Keyboard Shortcut Cheat Sheet. It's a PDF download for free. You can download it for free. Uh, in the description below this video, I have a link to my website where you could get your copy of it. Now, let's deal with this green color cast. What we need to do first is we need to mask the chipmunk so that our adjustment is just being done to the chipmunk. So we're going to open up masking and we're going to get a subject mask this time. You know, in that last video, I used a person mask. And by the way, if you haven't seen that video, I'll have a link to it in the description below this video. So we have the subject mask. It masks not only the chipmunk, but it masks this leaf on the left. Now, if that leaf had a green color cast, I'd leave it there, but it really doesn't. So I need to remove it. So I'm going to subtract from this mask with a brush. And I'll just get a nice big brush and I'll just remove the mask from, from the leaf on the left-hand side. So we're just doing the adjustment to the chipmunk. Now, as we did in that other video, we're going to go to point color and we're going to get the eyedropper. And you could point or click on like a greenish part of the chipmunk, or you could just click on the green background. I'll just click there. And I mentioned in that other video, what you need to do then is go to this circle. I find it easiest to go to the circle and just move this as far away from green as you can. So kind of this way. And sometimes what happens is or what helps if you take Luma or Looms, Luminance Shift, Loom Shift up a little bit, you could come back in and readjust that. So you just come in and adjust this to get rid of that green color cast. And then you could come in and readjust your lum shift. And then go to the range and see if that helps kind of uh, relegate the adjustment to just the parts of the chipmunk that have the green color cast. And that seems to help there. And here's a before after. There's before. And there's after. Now I'll finish my adjustment. I'll go up to tone. And I'd probably want to just make his whites, or her whites for that matter, I don't know if it's a male or female, a little brighter and the black's a little darker. Um, I want to go to detail and add a little bit of sharpening. And there, I think I'm pretty much done. Now here's the adjustment uh, before, and here's after. Might be a little bit too bright. If it is too bright, you could come to tone. You could just pull it down a little bit. There's before. And there's after. Now I mentioned that I'm going to show you a second method. And this method I think works equally as well. Uh, depends on the color cast though. Let me delete all these masks. So we're going to start right where we started when I started the video. So we have the chipmunk has the little bit of a green color cast. Again, we're going to get a subject mask. So we're going to click on subject. Now again, I don't need the leaf to be uh, masked. So I'll get a subtract brush. And... I'll come in here with this brush and remove the adjustment from the leaf. All right. Now, instead of using point color, we're going to use curve. So we're going to close this down and go to curve. And because the color cast is green, we're going to go to the green curve right here. So we have red, green, and blue. Now, if you have a green curve, you'll notice if you go to the green curve here, that the top left hand side has this kind of green tint to it and the lower right hand side has a magenta tint to it. Those are subtractive colors. 
So if you have something that is too green, what you can do is you could go to the green curve and put a point right in the middle, in this case, and just pull it towards the magenta. And you see as I do that, just a little bit. All you need is a little adjustment. It's a little bit more of a fine adjustment compared to the point color. You can see I just moved this a very little bit and I got rid of that green color cast. So you have, when you're dealing with the uh, green color cast, you would go to this uh, green channel again in this left-hand side and the top left is green. Over here is magenta. If you had a red color cast, you could go to the red. You could see the top left is red and over here is cyan. And if you have blue, you could go over here and the top left is blue and the lower right hand is yellow. And that works the other way too. If you have a yellow, yellow color cast, you could go to the blue channel and then move this towards blue away from yellow. And if you have a cyan color cast, you could go to the red channel and move the line away from cyan towards red. So it works either way is what I'm trying to say. We had a magenta color cast. I could come in here and move this diagonal line away from magenta towards green. In this case, I just had to move it this way. We're going to go here and we're going to make this just a little, not that much brighter. And we'll again bring this up, bring our blacks down. And then finally, we'll go to detail and we'll add some sharpness. Do I want to add maybe some texture? Maybe a little bit. All right. Here's before, after. There's before and there's after. I probably didn't do quite a good, as good a job on that one, but it's better. There's before and there's after. So there, that's two different ways to use, to remove a color cast from a subject this time in an image. Use that subject mask. And again, I want to remind you, pick up your free copy of my Lightroom Classic keyboard shortcuts. Um, I'll have the link in the description below this video, or just jump over to my website, anthonymorganti.com. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.